it's Saturday, and I'm heading into work. You may have noticed we're dressed a little fancier than a weekday going to work. If you watched yesterday's video, uh, Today I have to go into work uh, with a bunch of other guys. We're taking uh, dangerous goods training. I explained this yesterday, but for those of you who missed it, I'll just recap a little bit. I had dangerous goods training uh, at the other company I was at for those, for those months in between where I left for a bit and then I came back and I, I passed a dangerous goods course there so I could haul it there with them. But when you take that course, it's only good at the company you took it at. So in order for it to be valid now, I've got to redo it. Uh, the last time I did it was January of this year. And then it's usually good for five years, but since I, I went back to Keystone, I've got to do it again. And then it'll be valid for another five years. This is to enable me to haul dangerous goods. Uh, I, I'm not sure what kind of dangerous goods we even haul. I've never seen us haul any dangerous goods, but maybe it's like a just in case kind of thing. Maybe, you never know. Guess we'll find out. But either way, this way I'll have my certification and then they don't have to worry about it. You know, I'm say I just drop a load in Winnipeg and they they see this load pop up that's uh, not CO2 or uh, anything flammable, anything corrosive like that. And they're like, oh, hey, let's send Josh to go pick it up. He's certified. I'm more useful this way. You see, you wanna be as useful as you can think of the proper way to say that is you want to be as useful as you can be. You want to be able to do as many things as possible so that when they need somebody, you're the first person that pops into their head, or at least you're among the first people that pop into their head. You always want to be on the front of their minds and in a positive light, mostly because you want to do a good job. You want to be that employee that everybody knows is going to get the job done and get it done right. You want to be trustworthy so that when they, they toss you a, a more difficult task that they don't got to worry about you and check in on you all the time to make sure you're not messing it up. They just throw it to you and they can relax and move on to the next thing knowing he'll take care of it. If there's an issue, he'll, he'll take care of it himself. And if he can't, he'll, he'll figure it out and you know, it'll be fine. Josh is on it. It'll be fine. That's my goal. That's how I want people to feel when they uh, work with me. So off we go to school, to trucker school learn some things today. We're going to work our brains on Saturday. This is very weird and very awkward, but uh, we got to turn her back on today for half a day at least. And then we can turn the brain back off later when we get home. It's quarter to eight. There's a few people there already. I don't know how many people are taking this course. Maybe it's just a couple of us. For some reason, I thought it was a whole big group, but it might just be a couple of us. I have no idea. Fast forward to this afternoon, we are done. Oh, and we got the shades, uh-huh. We're done. You are looking at a newly certified dangerous goods driver. I'm not sure what kind of dangerous goods I'm gonna be hauling, but hey, if any come through, I'm certified for the next three years. Yesterday I had said it was five years. I don't know if I cut that out of the video or not, but I, I, for some reason I said that it's good for five years. No, they're good for three years. It's always good to do these courses every now and then to refresh yourself on things like that. Otherwise you tell YouTube and the whole world that it's good for five when it's actually three. So our safety guy, Glenn, was running the course. There was five of us drivers in there. It wasn't a very big class, but it was fun. And uh, he's a very good teacher explains it in language that we can understand. He had a nice presentation lined up and uh, it, was, it was very well done, very well done. Uh, we can be confident that we are uh, fully educated. We, we know what we're doing when we're assigned a dangerous goods load. So I think he did a really good job. So now that that's out of the way, I got my certification in my wallet. Got to carry it with me at all times. At least when I'm hauling dangerous goods, but I just put it in my wallet so it's always with me. 
sort of like your firearm license, you know? Always got to have that with you. Put all those important things in your wallet so that you never forget it when you actually do need it. So now we head home and uh, enjoy the rest of our weekend. I'd like to head out to our land today yet. Uh, clean up those sticks and all those bushes that I cut down last week. I'd like to clear that all out of the way and possibly bring home some firewood. We'll see how much time I have left by the time. I also have a few vlogs to edit. I'm behind today plus two more days, so I have three videos I have to put together. I'll probably do it tomorrow because Sundays I don't usually make a video anyway. I'll talk to you guys when I get home, and uh, we'll figure out what we're doing from there. Man, she's dirty. Dirty, dirty. So all of these bushes are exactly where I left them, on the ground. So I think I'm going to start clearing down these bushes first before I start cleaning these up, because I have to uh, get this space all opened up. And then we will start piling these bushes against the tree line here. I think that's how I'm going to make a big pile because we got one big pile over here. I'm going to get another big pile over there. All that's going to be cleared out. Everything that isn't cleared down there already is going to get piled up further that way. It's just so that I don't have to be carrying big bundles of sticks all the way across the open area here. I'll make several different piles in different corners. Oh, it feels good to be back here again. So, before I clean up what I cut down last week, I cut down this section here as well. Now it's time to clean this all up and see what it looks like once all of this is actually cleared. So, have you ever seen anyone work that fast before? <laughs> I'm not finished yet, but I got all the, the big pieces out of the way for this area that I've cleared here now, all the way back to those tall trees back there. 
Uh, I'm gonna bring the rake here next time to rake up all these uh, little pieces and stuff into piles and then carry them over there where I have the other one stacked. But uh, yeah, I think we've made some pretty good progress. I've only been here like an hour and a half and I'm gonna head home now. Britt's getting off work soon. Uh, because I had that uh, course this morning, that sort of took up more than half the day. So maybe next week and we'll get a full Saturday to spend here. We'll see. I'm just going to throw some of this lumber here. When we bought this land, uh, the guy who owned it previously left uh, a bunch of junk on here. But some of it's not junk. Some of it is uh, nice wood. And as you know, because I've been joking about it nonstop, this is a little pile of gold right here. Even though it's old. I'm going to take it home. Firewood, maybe? If you leave a pile of lumber in the bush for me, I will be thankful, and I will use it. One way, one way or another, I will use it. Who's messaging me? Who wants it? Who goes there? Who goes there? Fast forward to the next day, Sunday. I brought the boss out here for uh, approval. And the boys for their approval as well. You want to let out the hounds? Release, Release the hounds. Careful for the sticks. Go to stump, guys. Don't hurt the paws. Oh, they just jumped right over them. Okay. Yeah, as long as they pay attention, you see all these stumps are sticking out like this here. So different than the last time you guys were out here, huh? This one's mine. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this one. Now, got your own stumps. Good for you. Wow. Smoke so you did a lot of work. Still a lot to do. This just took a couple hours. I think I've been out here for the last three weekends, spending uh, about two to three hours a weekend. It's not that much. And I stacked them all up over there. Diesel, what you got? Did you find your favorite stick out of all these sticks? His favorite stick is whichever stick mom picks. Yeah? <laughs> what if I pick this one? That one. That looks pretty good too. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go a little bit further. Okay. Maybe about another 10 feet further. And then all of this stuff here, all the way up to those big trees back there, like I was saying. Chevy, what you doing? Do you love it here? He's skywalking. We should build the house right here. Right, right here. This will be my room. <laughs> He's actually pretty accurate. That'll probably be right where the house is sitting. Oh, <laughs> a mess. Buddy, come here. <laughs> Chevy, let me see. You look like a haystack. Right? What did you do? Oh, 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 oh. I got a good majority of it off. What you rolling in? Probably don't want to know. Nope. <laughs>